the bird with the broken wing. The oak, the maple, and the willow stand tall in the middle of a forest. One cold evening, they see a flock of birds flying overhead. One little bird flies low and drops to the ground. Oh, I cannot fly any longer. I must rest in this forest tonight. I will ask this tall oak. He looks so strong, and his leaves are so thick and warm," said the little bird. "May I rest in your branches tonight, great oak tree? I am a poor little bird with a broken wing, and I am cold and tired and hungry." Asked the little bird. "I am sorry." But my branches are occupied by the squirrels, who are getting their acorns for the winter. I have no room for strange birds," said the oak tree. "Oh, surely the handsome maple tree will take me in. He has no acorns, and so the squirrels will not be in his branches." Little bird said to himself, "Kind maple tree, may I rest tonight in your branches?" Asked the little bird. "My leaves tremble to think of taking in strange birds. My house is in perfect order, and I cannot think of disturbing it. Please go away," said the maple tree. Oh, what shall I do? I am shivering with cold, and weak with hunger," little bird said to himself. "Dear willow, you are kind, are you not? Will you take me in just for tonight?" asked the little bird. "Really, Mister Bird with the broken wing, I think you should have gone on." With the other birds, I cannot take you in. I do not know your name or anything about you. Besides, I am very sleepy. So, good night," said the willow tree. "I shall die of cold if I stay on the ground. Where can I go?" Worried little bird said, "Dear little bird." Come to me. Can you hop on to my branches? I am not as handsome as the maple, but my leaves grow thick, and will keep you warm through the night," said the spruce tree. "Dear spruce tree, how kind you are! Yes, here I am, on your lowest branch. It is so cozy and warm here." How can I thank you enough for your kindness? Exclaimed the little bird. Do not speak of that, little bird," said the spruce tree. "I will do my best to help you too, little bird. I am not as strong as the oak, but I will stand between you and the cold north wind," said the pine tree. "I thank you, tall pine tree." For your kindness," said the little bird. "I cannot keep the strong north wind from you, but if you are hungry, you may eat my berries," promised the juniper tree. "Thank you, dear juniper tree. You are all so kind to me. Your berries are good, and I am not cold and hungry any more. I'll go to sleep now." Good night, dear trees. Good night, little bird, and may you have sweet dreams. Mister Frost, I know that you must touch all the leaves, and turn them into shades of gold and brown. But, stopped the forest fairy. But what, dear fairy? Asked Jack Frost.
such a dear little bird, came to the forest this evening. He had a broken wing, and he was cold and very tired. He wanted shelter. He asked the great oak, the proud maple, and the graceful willow, and all refused, said the forest fairy. What? Did all the trees refuse to help a poor, tired little bird? exclaimed Jack Frost. Yes, they did. Then I heard Spruce Tree tell him to take shelter in her branches, and Pine Tree kept the north wind from him, and Juniper Tree gave him her berries to eat, said the forest fairy. The leaves of the proud oak, the maple, and the willow trees shall fall to the ground when the cold winter comes. But spruce, pine, juniper, and their families shall keep their leaves, and they shall be green all through the year. They shall be called evergreen trees, said Jack Frost.